Come on, baby. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Southern Backwood Adventures. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. We're back down here at uh, Kerry Beach. Try to do some more surf fishing. Um, it's actually pretty nice out here. Uh, the tide's got another hour before it actually comes in. Um, we're getting set up right now. We got some jigs, we got some bottom lures, uh, fish bites, obviously. Um, so a few people on the beach right now, I guess they're watching the sunrise. Uh, we're gonna get started and uh, try to get into it. guys these are called sand fleas uh, aka uh, mole crabs they tickle when they're in your hand but they're, they're good bait if you don't have uh, bait from the store you can get them off the beach anywhere there's more and as before we're using the uh, fish bite sand flea because that's what they're feeding on right now these things work guys you just gotta be patient with them Come on, baby. Hold on, hold on, get away, get away. Pop a nose. Got a pump. Nice pump. On the sand flea fish bites. Nice. Give me the pliers. All right. Nice pump. Twelve, twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. That's nice. Nice pumping out. Well, guys, we're going to pack it up and leave. The tourists have came out and the beaches are getting packed. I got this table. But when you put the fish on top, they just kind of like slide everywhere. So I put this piece of wood on there. They don't slide as good on this piece of wood. Plus it makes a good cutting board anyway. But um, first thing you want to do is one thing, always spray your fish off. They got slime on them and it kind of helps you keep a water hose by. So Pompano has meat on the head all the way up here. It's just like a brim. If you catch like a big brim, you know, freshwater fish, uh, it's the same thing. They have a lot of meat up on their forehead here. So best thing to do is to 
you know, you can start anywhere, but mainly right up here on the head. Um, and just follow that spine all the way down. All the way down to the tail. All right. And then come all as far as you can down. And then you're gonna cut across right here. Let's see. There's a bone in here. You wanna ride that knife along. See all that meat there? And there's a bone. It's a spine bone. Just take this right here and just ride that down on the side of it. See right there? There's the bone right there. You want to ride all, ride that down all the way through and then take right here you want to come around like that and just connect that with that cut there Cut right on up. Obviously you got the rib bones right there. You got some bones up in here, you can cut them out. If you leave some bones, it's, I mean, it's simple. You just, just like that right there. And that cuts those bones out and then what you can do next is you take move this out of the way here move this to the edge take this right here and go underneath the meat and hold that hold that skin if I can get it get it <laughs> this fish you know just push down on it Hold that skin tight and just follow all the way down. Of course, I messed it up right there, but that's where the skin's come off anyway. And you can leave skin on if you want to. Then there's your, there's your flay right there. Sometimes you leave a little bit on there, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. That'll come off when you cook it. And then right here in the center, just like a Spanish, you're gonna take this right here, oh, and just butterfly that right in the center. So the bone stop right about halfway. Go ahead and cut that in half all the way. Bam. Two boneless pompano flays. Pretty white meat. I'll tell you what, it's been so long since I've had pompano. I'm gonna enjoy that. We'll go ahead and do the other side and then we'll meet you inside and start cooking it. We are, we used a zesty Italian dressing on this one here. It's been marinating for, uh, I don't know, four or five hours, something like that. But we are going to be using two different seasons. We're gonna be using the backyard original season. It's like an all purpose season. And then the lemon and herb obey. Um, so let's get started. So I like to take my butter, take that right there. Hot pan. This is actually on medium heat. 
and we're gonna let it cook on each side for about a minute or so. We're gonna lay our first filet in there. Backyard season at these two plays. Literally cover them up. Let that cook for a minute. We're going to flip them. All right, y'all. It's done. Here's the finished product. Now, look at that. Bam! That looks so good. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and try it out, man, and see what it tastes like. So, the lemon and herb. I'll show you all something. Look at that. That looks so good. I'm glad God created fish. Let me tell you something. It don't get better than that, buddy. This is the backyard. Uh, yeah, the backyard. Mm. That is really good. It's called All Purpose Backyard Original Seasoning. And the other one is the Old Bay Lemon Herb. A lot of your Old Bay products, you have to add a little salt to them. Um, that's depending on your preference. But um, let's go ahead and get back in the water and show you uh, this next video coming out um, of this other pop that we caught. And um, we'll see you then. What the hell? Sand flea fish bites. Like I said, in the surf, we caught a lot of sand fleas yesterday. Used a few of them, uh, but that's mainly what the fish feed on on the surf over here. You get drum, your whiting, um, your pompano. So we're going to go ahead and get set up. Go ahead and throw these rods out. Nice size spots. Yellow bellies. Wow. Yeah, so I we caught a few of them last week and then um, um something on here I think. I don't know, it might be the Are wave pulling. The fish off yeah, they're yeah, they're down there. They're limit I think they're limiting though how many people that let on. Really? But I'm to say when the fall season comes up and spots are biting, I wonder what they're doing. Yeah, I haven't been on the pier yet. I've been I got a boat, so I just go out my boat. I think there's something on here. If it is, it's just pulling. Oh yeah, there's something on there. Oh, Pompano. Oh man. Yeah. 
Yeah, hand me the pliers. I'll tell you what, Bama Beach Bum, he would uh, love to see us. Give me one of them bags out the cooler. Look at this. Nice Pompano. He is, uh, he is 11, 11 and a quarter. A little trick, put them in the bag so they don't get on your ice. Medium heat, butter, uh, that's the salt and pepper, and that one is the Old Bay Lemon and Herb. We're gonna flip them over, uh, roughly like a minute on each side. All right, so it's been a minute. All right guys, it's done, and here is the final results. It looks good. I actually had some already, but I wanna tell you my personal feedback. Um, the salt and pepper, this is the salt and pepper right here. Cause it original, but more of the authentic taste of fish. Um, just enough salt to give a little flavor, but you can you know you can taste the white meat of the fish. This one right here is the uh, Old Bay Lemon Herb. It's got a lot of tang to it from the lemon. It's really really good. Uh, not a lot of salt. Um, you should add some salt to it if you want salt, but I think the the, the lemon actually brings out um, that tang in it. Uh, this next one is the Creole. It's got a little spice to it. really good. I love the spice. It really cooks in the flavor of the fish a lot more. And now the Everglaze is really good. Really good. Um, other than that, we hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to please like and subscribe. And if you want to send us something, check in the description below. Uh, the P.O. box is listed on there. Other than that though, uh, don't forget, adventure awaits for you.